Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are decorating the house for Valentine's Day using mostly Dollar Tree items. But to start, we are replacing our sheets in our master bedroom with some new red sheets that we recently got. Although these aren't overly Valentine's Day themed, I like how it adds a lot of red to our room, at least when the bed is unmade. If our budget allows in the future, I hope to get some decorative pillows and fun sheets for the kids too. Next up, we are going to be rearranging some things so that I can better love myself going forward, and I'll explain. I'd like to thank UV for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this foldable playmat. It came packaged very nicely and was surprisingly light. The mat is made of non-toxic, tasteless, high-density XPE foam. The cute patterns are printed with vegetable oil ink, is BPA-free, non-toxic, non-fading, and safe for tummy time and crawling. I really like how it is textured with the letters of the alphabet and numbers as well. The mat is double-sided and quite large when fully unfolded, 71 inches wide by 79 inches long. The designs on both sides of the mat are really cute, and I like how the colors of the mat better fit the aesthetic of our living room, better than our previous mat did. I also really like how easily it folds up so we can tuck it away when it's not in use. With our brighter and bulkier and hard to store mat, we decided to move it to the garage to have a more permanent setup for Jack for when we're exercising or out there. I think having a little area for him out in the garage will encourage me to utilize this space more so I can better care for my body and love myself going forward, something I have been struggling with lately. Anyways, Aubrey was eager to have the mat out after I tucked it away, so I let her set it up again and the following ensued. Hi guys, today are you filming? Yeah. We are gonna get ready to open this big pack. What a good helper you are. Whoa. <laughs> then You like the other side better? Again, I'd like to thank UV for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm eager to utilize this mat not only for Jack, but also for me if I want to do some indoor workouts. If this product seems like something you would like to purchase, I will place the Amazon link down below in the description box for your convenience. But now let's move on to hanging up some Dollar Tree signs on the doors around our house. Mm -hmm. 
I was originally planning on writing Aubrey's name on this sign, but Aubrey really wanted to decorate it herself. So I gave her my chalk pen and let her draw what she wanted. I find it hard to come in, but you don't even try. Still I'm better with and without you. The baby and you. In addition to me and the baby, she went on to draw herself and Juan. I asked her to write the letter A so that I could finish by writing her name, and she added the letter T because that is what we've been practicing lately with her homeschool materials. I finished off the sign by writing her name in the year and then hung it on her door. I think this will be really fun to admire when we're decorating in the years to come. Moving on, we are adding some Dollar Tree garland, as well as a little vase and valentiny bouquet to our bathroom. Although inexpensive and simple, I think these decorations really make our bathroom feel festive for the month of love. Now we are going to move on to the kitchen and decorate our sliding glass door with some red, pink, and white chalk pens. The possibilities are endless when it comes to this decorating idea, but for this first Valentine's Day in this house, I thought I would just do a stream of hearts across the two doors. Let me know down in the comments what kind of design you would choose to draw using these chalk pens if this was your door. Finally, we are wrapping up this video by adding some window clings that I got from Dollar Tree a few years ago. As usual, I am letting Aubrey help me put them up. I tried my best to let her put the window clings wherever she wanted on the window, but I did help when it came to the letters because it would bother me if things were misspelled or if there were just random letters everywhere, especially since I'm the one looking out the window most of the time doing the dishes. I do hope that decorating the kitchen window will be a fond memory for my children as the years go by or even just having all these decorations up in general. I hope you got some inspiration from or simply enjoyed today's video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you checked out some more of my videos and subscribe if you enjoy my motherhood content. Please know that you are loved and made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.
to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.